life can take you to some incredible places if you're really, really good at something. So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back? As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there, and a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure, I just want you to try, and we can see if you start enjoying it. just like to see you really rise to the occasion just this once. I wish I had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. Don't answer that, Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. calling you again? What, is she obsessed with you? Anubis, in the presence of Ma'at, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased soul against a feather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the scale? That is Amamet, and she's got, and yes, that's a she, the hey, head of a crocodile, Mr. Kid. fur of a lion, over here, see, that's and the body of a hippopotamus, cat. though I would not say that to her face. Now, as you can see, she is ready to devour any of the deceased who do not pass judgment. Sort of like me with your weekly quizzes. So I am not quite sure why I don't hear more frantic scribbling right now. <laughs> Ew, why is he so scared? Slightly worried about having him change schools just as he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay, well listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Listen! Danny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, no offense at all. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Lights out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. Richard, tell your son to turn the lights off. Benny, mom says turn the lights off. Not mom says, you say. Benny, I say turn the lights off, not just mom. Huh? Turn them off. We're supposed to be in his front. In his front. Benny! Damn it! Benny, turn... Wow. Didn't think you'd 
should actually pick up. I'm a sticky for a baby. I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the app. You know, I'm really glad you're here. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Or to get off my chest. Okay. I don't think Conksters is actually a really good game. My cousin Yoon, he was in town this weekend, and he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. He calls it a cash grab. So I'm sorry that I made you like it because it's actually a terrible game. But I also think that if it was a really good game, maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. We would have been so focused on how good it was and not the feelings we had while we were playing it. Like my favorite vegetable is the tomato, but Yoon thinks that they're the grossest ever. And you're probably the least popular boy in the school, but I also like hanging out with you the most, which was also something I wanted to talk to you about. I like hanging out with you a lot, which is weird because after what happened with my mom, I never like hanging out with anyone. So this has been a big surprise for me this year in a lot of ways. I think I like that you let me talk. My cousin never lets me talk. My dad does, but I can tell he's not really listening. Probably didn't sleep at all, out in the cold all night. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It's okay, you still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Maybe just try and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the recording so the sound of mastery can seep into your subconscious a little, okay? Close your eyes, Ben. In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. Oh. 
Oh, okay, okay. I think that's enough. So, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again, once you've had a bit more time to practice, yes? As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path, wherever it may take you, okay? All right. I, I really want to thank you and your mother for coming all the way out here. I know it was quite the drive. Maybe I pushed you too hard. Maybe I turned into my own father. I don't know. You have to find something to focus on. The world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something. We want him home from school for a while. Just until this nasty thing clears. Hey El, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo, okay? This is such a crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, look, having him home for a little means I can spend more time with him, you know? This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. You are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. There is no teaching art. So don't just sit there slack, Jod. Make art, you ponies. Oh. How very wacky and fun these are. Yeah. <laughs> 
There you go, Mr. Brin. Feel its shape. I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. You see, he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. ironic sincerity of this piece is I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards and it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like but if I can teach you one thing it's that if opportunity knocks you open the door making a living isn't selling out I wish I had thought of it that way Benjamin! Marvelous show last week. Truly stunning. Don't worry. You're not selling your soul. Well, look at that! You've crumpled my contract. To being a difficult artist, the best of us are. Ah, this is divine. So, now that you've grown your wings, tell me, young master, where will you fly? May I suggest somewhere abroad? This American air can be stifling. That's enough from me. Now, you'll hear from the person who I believe was the single thing in the world my wife was most proud of. Her magnum opus, so to speak. Go on, B. Say something. wrong. Why aren't you talking? Hey you. As you know, I talk to big, very important people every day. 
And there's one thing that everybody is asking me. What's going on with Benjamin Brin? And what am I supposed to say? That I haven't heard from my star pupil in six months? This is getting ridiculous. You are a snake. You're a fraud. But worst of all, Benjamin, you're a little tease. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is a genius. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is silent because Benjamin Brain is hard at work creating his greatest work yet. But you are doing nothing! The world has forgotten you, Benjamin! They have moved on! And I... I have moved on too. You have broken my heart. Hey, B. Just calling to tell you. I think I'm selling the house. She's everywhere here, son. I can't move without bumping into her. And then I just find myself breaking down again. I'll take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> uh, I'm just so glad you got to speak to her one last time. I mean, I know she told you not to pick up the phone, <laughs> but, well, I'm just so happy that you did. She just wanted you to focus on your work. That was the only thing that mattered to her. What's that? What's so fascinating, son? Look, it's unbelievable, Benny. It's like she's standing in the room with us. Like I can see her in the paint. I can't believe this. It's been years. I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings you did. And your mom. I always heard her playing piano from next door, but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. Hey, so not to be forward, but what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. You finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. With all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a Whoa! Well, there you are. Well, hello, sir. If I realized I would have cleaned up, I'm just 
used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but whew, an internationally renowned painter? <laughs> the gatekeeper's going to eat you up. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since, you know, I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all the strokes right, the proper composition, if you catch my drift. <laughs> nah, forget about it. All right, here we go. Gatekeeper, before you stands the soul of a great man. Now, would you describe yourself as a happy kid or a lonely one? A, uh, a jovial child. Hmm. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up as a strange, quiet child in an isolated seaside town. And, uh, what would you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Kind of like your champion or, or more like a taskmaster? Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was over-demanding, forcing him to practice day in and day out, hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she never could. And how about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Was she your best friend or your first love? Now be honest here. Don't be bashful. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. Now from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick, and he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten, painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child, Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. But be quiet, all of you. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you scum goes, you mucky fans. All right, I get it, I hear what you're saying. Hear what you're saying. 